Hey there, thanks so much for coming back for another study. Today we're going to take a look at the remnant. We've been talking about the bride out of Luke chapter 9 that was raptured and has come back to serve in her glorified hidden body. And then we talked about Luke chapter 10 where the 70 that were sent out, they represent the church that was raptured and then sent back to minister to the left behind remnant. So now we're going to talk about the remnant, those who are left behind on the earth, and they are going to have to survive the last three and a half years of the Great Tribulation. That last three and a half years is called the time of Jacob's trouble. And so we do find them in this passage we've been studying. So if you want to turn with me to Luke chapter 10, I'm going to read to you out of the New American Standard Bible, verses 25 through 29. And then we're going to go through and do a little um, study of each verse. And a lawyer stood up and put him to the test, saying, Teacher, what shall I do to inherit eternal life? And he said to him, What is written in the law? How does it read to you? So Jesus asked the lawyer two questions. And I thought that was really interesting. He was asking, What does the Word of God say and how do you interpret it? Because that's very important. Anybody can read the Word of God. but they need to have an accurate interpretation. So here was this lawyer testing Jesus. Well, Jesus flipped the tables and is now testing the lawyer. So the lawyer said in verse 27, you shall love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul and with all your strength and with all your mind and your neighbor as yourself. Well, Jesus said to him, you have answered correctly. Do this and you will live. Now think about this. Of all the times Jesus asked people questions in the Gospels, very few replied back with the correct answer. But Jesus actually told him, yep, you're right. You know the Word of God and you have interpreted it correctly. So he said, do what you know to do and you will live. Well, then what is so funny here is in verse 29, it says, but wanting to justify himself, he said to Jesus, well, who's my neighbor? Well, as you know, the record in the scriptures, Jesus goes on to talk about the Good Samaritan. But what I wanna point out here is, and this is going to be a quality unique to the remnant is, think about it, they've missed the pre-trib rapture of the bride. They have now just missed the mid-trib rapture of the church, so they're going to be asking, well, how can I inherit eternal life? I'm not glorified in my body like they are. I'm still down on earth in my mortal body. How can I inherit eternal life? So now, if you were that person, you would have that same question. Okay, so G the lawyer is asking Jesus this question, but he's testing Jesus. Why? Is because this lawyer, he knew the Word of God, he had interpreted it correctly, but he wasn't doing the Word. He was not doing what he knew he was supposed to be doing. And so now he's trying to justify himself. He thinks he's found a loophole in God's law. So he tries to justify himself by saying, well, I haven't been doing this. I haven't been doing the Word of God, what I know to do, because I just don't know who my neighbor is. Hmm. Well, Jesus goes on to tell him. But the reason why this is so important is because we've got a lot of Christians in the body of Christ that they are banking on this same strategy as this lawyer. And it's not a very good strategy. They think they have found a loophole in God's law and they think they're going to plead ignorant as if this is going to work, as if this is going to qualify them to inherit eternal life. You know, it says in Mark 4, 12, so that while seeing, yeah, they may see and not perceive. And while hearing, they may hear and not understand. So you see, for Christians, we see, we have eyes to see, we have ears to hear, but Jesus is telling us in Mark 4, 12, something more is needed. Perceiving is needed and understanding is needed. So a lot of Christians think that if they just don't 
study the Bible. They, weren't lear they won't learn all these truths that they have to adhere to, and they still think that qualifies them to be the bride. And then they're not going to learn their lesson, and they're still going to think that qualifies them to be the church. And what that's going to get them is a position as the remnant. And now here is something really interesting that I want to point out here. In verse 25, the lawyer asked, how can I inherit eternal life? Jesus says, do the, what you know to do. You've interpreted the word correctly and you will live. Now those are two completely different Greek words. The lawyer asked for G2222 life, and Jesus says, well, do what you're supposed to do now that you're the remnant, and you will receive G2198. So I'm gonna let you do your own word studies and notice the difference between those two words, but kind of in a nutshell, and I'm gonna be very sarcastic here, but this is how Jesus answered that lawyer who was testing him. Jesus says, Buddy, right now you don't even need to be thinking about eternal life because you've got three and a half really hard years to go through and you're just going to survive it and live. So Jesus did not even address in his inheritance because he, he's missed out on that type of inheritance, that's gone. The inheritance that the bride gets, she's actually his possession, but the church has an inheritance. Jesus is going to inherit the church. He was given the bride as a possession. He's going to be given the church because the Father owns the church, it's the Father's church. The Father is going to give Jesus the church as an inheritance once they're raptured up. But now this guy, he's got to make it through three and a half years of the great tribulation. The three and a half years, that period called the time of Jacob's trouble. And then he's going to see the second coming of Jesus Christ, because we already know here, Jesus says, you're going to live. But what that means is this remnant, they're going to see the second coming of Jesus Christ, him coming on his white horse and all of us, all the heavenly hosts, the righteous angels who never sinned and all of the saints who are raptured and glorified, all coming back on our white horses. So he's going to live to see that. And he's going to live to go into the millennial reign of Christ. But see, the people who are on earth during the millennial reign, they remain in a mortal body, meaning they can still sin. They can still miss out on eternal life. They will be given extended lifespans and they will be healed. They are going to experience a rapture of sorts. It's what's many, what many people, they call it the post-trib rapture. That's what they see. But really what they're seeing is the snatching of a sideways rapture of the remnant to be taken to a safe place, the barn. And we're going to, in subsequent videos, we're going to start talking a little bit more about the remnant because you cannot understand Many of the Old Testament passages, if you don't understand this group called the remnant, who's going to be living through not only all seven years of the tribulation, but really enduring with gritted teeth, that last three and a half years called the time of Jacob's trouble. And so I just want to make sure none of our listeners here are thinking that if they miss the pre-trib rapture or if they miss the mid-trib rapture, that they can just claim ignorance. I didn't know because, you know, we're given the word and this is what we're doing now. The bride is making herself ready. We're sticking close to Jesus and we're learning why he said what he said to people. We're learning why that lawyer, why he stood up and put Jesus to the test and why he asked that question. See, the bride knows now why that lawyer asked that question of Jesus. So thank you for watching to the end and thank you for following our channel and thank you for subscribing. I appreciate that so much. And thank you for sharing our videos. I appreciate that so much. So we'll talk to you later. Bye.